Yes, let's go. This is Dope D, O D, and that is Pumpus. <laughs> what do you think? What makes Dope D O D so dope. good? <laughs> what makes Dope D O D so good? It's the fucking dope. <laughs> See, we sniff dope, we smoke dope every day. <sighs> that makes us so good. Nah, but seriously, we just do what we what we feel, you know? We just do what we want to do, and that's what makes us dope. That's what make, makes us dope DOD, because we just go with that feeling, with that energy at the moment, you know? We burst, motherfucker, we burst! You're on that uh, new electronic sound, but uh, what do you think about that old boom bap sound? Are what you, you feeling it, or you're saying that let it be where the hell it is. What do you think, man? We're in hip hop, you know, hip hop is a culture, so if you can't respect yep. where it came from, then you ain't got nothing to do here in the first place. So yeah, I respect that old school boom bap shit because that's what I grew up on in the first place. Oh, yeah. That's what got me into hip hop. That's what inspired me to do what we do nowadays. So yeah, I can't shit on that, man. Big up to the peeps that paved the way. I wouldn't be here today if the old school didn't pave the way. So that's what's up. And still, I gotta say, you know, boom bap is not uh, a thing of a pa of the past, you know. Like you can still find boom bap. Like li listen, listen to Ace of Rocky. Yo, can you shut the fuck up for one second? Listen to Ace of Rocky, his new album. You can find some boom bap shit on there, cause boom bap is still alive. Hip hop is still here, you know. It's just a, it's just a matter of finding it. You gotta word up in the right places. I heard some critics say. Dope DOD, it's all about the beats. Is it true? What do you say about that? If it's all about the beats, you can come to your show and listen to some instrumentals, couldn't you? Come boom bap your motherfucking head off. You know, it's all about the beats, of course. It's like about the beats. You don't want whack beats, you want hard beats. But if you count the lyrics out, I don't know what you're listening to, actually. You know, you need some hardcore lyrics. If you want the beats and you think it's only beats, then go to a show and listen to some instrumentals is that's what you like you know you won't like that you of course like it's a synergy between lyrics and beats but it's not only beats you know it's like 50 percent beat 50 percent lyrics and then maybe even the subject and the theme that you're talking about so no i think that's shallow thinking of people that say that to be honest yeah you know yeah i just agree you know hip-hop has many subcultures you know like hip hop is uh, lyrics, hip hop is beats, you know, hip hop is the streets, and hip hop is, you know, break dancing, graffiti, and all that shit. You know, it's all a matter of, uh, you know, style and energy that makes something hip hop. You can't, you can't just say that's hip hop. You gotta feel if it's hip hop. Word up for that. Mm-hmm. Uh, you're from Netherlands. Why English? How did you come to that? Well, we have like an international crew, you know, both of my parents are English, but they, but yeah. you know, they lived in Holland, so I grew up there and I was born there. Same for Jay, you know, it, one of his parents is African, his mom, and his dad is Dutch, so he's like half, half. Same for Skits, he's half English, yeah. half Dutch, so we're all mixed, we're like an international crew, and we speak up. English and Dutch and since up. we were young, so yeah, we're bilingual. And big up That's to why. all my fam out in London. Cornwall, out in Manchester, virus, I see ya, out in the States, Boston, Providence, Massachusetts, in the house, baby. Yeah, we see ya, all my niggas in New York, Queens, Rockaway what up, what up? Boulevard, I see ya, motherfuckers, and all my peoples in Estonia, I see ya, niggas, too. When you started your crew, you was here, right? But what the fuck did you do? Now you're here. We started at the bottom like everybody else, man. Hell yeah. Started at the bottom, now we're here. But what did we do, you what know? Did I, do? I was taking a shit on the toilet, motherfucker. <laughs> waiting to throw that shit in your face. Uh, on the real, though, we stuck together, you know? We've been friends before we was even doing music. We stuck together, stuck to what we wanted to do. You know, there was loads of people saying like, yo, this shit you're doing is too grimy, it's too dark, people are not going to feel this shit. But we just stuck to the program and did what we wanted to do. 
and stuck with it until the end. You know, sometimes it was hard, but we're still here and we're still still doing shows. So yeah, that's what's up. Estonia, motherfucker. What you got to say about that? that? Exactly, it's believing in yourself and especially sticking together with your family, you know, your friends, people that are close to you, stick with them, you know. There's not gonna come around the second time that you're gonna have people in your life that are close like that. So if you have people that are close to you, cherish them and work with them hard so you can achieve whatever the fuck you want to if you just stick together as a group and go for the prize, you know. Keep your eyes on the prize and stick to the plan. The the story is uh, your beats uh, are made by Noisia. Is it true? Partly. Uh, Noisia did a couple of productions for us. They did Rocket. Uh, it was back on the Roach album, and they did Butterfly Effect mm. on the Roach Noisia as well. Also, also from uh, from Groningen, yeah, they're from the same town uh, we come from, yeah. They're from Groningen. Friends. Big up to Noisia, uh, yeah, friends. Uh, Homies, family, motherfucker, this is how we do in Groningen. We rule in the world. And y'all don't even know. But uh, the EDM and uh, techno is very big in the Netherlands. Yeah, for sure, man. But uh, how's uh, things with hip hop? Well, hip hop, you know, uh, I gotta say, hip hop is quite big in Holland. Um, I gotta say the scene the scene is not as big like in uh, Germany or France because we don't have as many people as they have, you know? But still, I gotta say for 60 million people, we got a lot of motherfucking hip hop heads and we got a lot of dope DOD fans too. And big up to all my niggas out in fucking Groningen, Noisia, Mulu, I see ya. Got your puppy, my nigga. Yeah, got your puppy. Not some weird ass translation. Dio Googles, motherfucker. Fred Rose Star, you know, you know the man? I know him. I learned from him, you know. Do your Googles, motherfucker. Do your Googles. Onyx, big up. Red man, big up. I see you, nigga. And yo, and now, last question, because we about to fucking split. What do you think about the Estonian hip hop? All right, let me uh, sum it up real quick. From what I heard tonight, Cause that was the first thing I heard about Estonian hip hop. I gotta say, y'all motherfuckers got that boom bap on lock. I heard, you know, some motherfuckers rocking before us, and I liked it, man. I was skeptical at first. I thought like Estonia probably don't know about some real hip hop, cause it's probably new here. You know, they probably only had hip hop for maybe 10 years. But I gotta say, y'all motherfuckers got it on lock. Y'all know what hip hop is, and that's why Dope Dod is coming back to this country. Cause we love it here, we love the hospitality, and we love y'all hip hop, motherfucker. And I'm hooking up with some producer right now. He's gonna send me some beats. Right. Yeah, I think we rounding up here, man. This interview is about over. I only got one more thing to say, and that's Tanon Asti. See you later. Tanon Asti. Sina kui korraldaja, kuidas jäid sa selle aastase festivaliga rahule? Väga hästi. Kannatusi pole. Kui sa oled märter, on sul alati kannatusi. See oli Pump 1 2014 Hip Hop Festival. Helista kui mingit jama on. Ahora mule, listo. Raja.